Hello guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So here in this video tutorial, we will learn about the LED flasher or LED blinker creation with the help of AT51 microcontroller. The software which we are using for to program the controller is the Keel Microvision. Although we can program it via assembly but here we are just going to use just the C language okay now first we will create our project so go to project and write create new microvision project here you need to write any random name like uh, delta zero zero and click on save after it, you need to put your microcontroller name like AT89C51. So here you can see that our microcontroller is shown. So click on OK. OK, now we have created our project that is Delta 00. After it, we need to click on Source Group 1. We need to create one file that is click on new okay okay then we need to save it with the name like LED flash dot C okay we need to save it okay so it is like that okay now we need to edit in our project folder so click on source group one and click on add existing files to group source so here we can search our file so click on all files and we will just find our file that is led flash.c so led ldflash.c so click on it okay now it is added to our project here you can see that it is here so it is ldflash.c okay now we are going to write our code so here we 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 need to write hash include hash include reg 51.h this is the header file and all the functions all the instructions and all these things are actually based on this file whatever you are calling inside the program actually corresponds to this all the instructions is written inside this header file that is reg 51.h and here we after it we need to write delay function write delay unsigned int f now we have declared a function and here we can see that it will take one unsigned integer f as a parameter means that whatsoever you will insert here after delay it will take it and pass it to its body like uh, here we will declare one for loop for or uh, before for we need to write int v v is equal to 0, v is less than f and v plus plus ok so ok so why we have put this semicolon because it is we, we, because we are not going to introduce the body so we, we just terminate here ok now this y delay function actually will create the delay for time delay for us okay now what will happen that when we will put 1000 or anything like that inside the uh, brackets then this y delay function will throw this the value of 1000 into into the f here which is inside the body so uh, then it will execute like v is equal to 0 
then v is less than 1000 then v plus plus so it will run for 1000 time so it is just like that okay after okay now this is function for our delay then we will write our main function so main is the uh, most important function where we used to write all our program and why we used to write this while one because we want it to run for unlimited time while one means that it is not going to end at any time it is on a limited loop so while one will execute again and again so okay now we will write here p2 is equal to p sorry tilde p2 so what this p2 will show us that p2 is actually the port number 2 of 8051 and why it is so because now what will happen that whatsoever its state will be it will toggle itself after each iteration like uh, first it will become p2 then again it will due to this tilde sign it used to change its states from 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 like p2 and tilde p2 so so again it will uh, it change its state again and again then we will write delay function and we will put 1000 here so what this 1000 will do it will go here 1000 and then will shift to this f and then uh, it will create some time delay because it will for will execute for 1000 times so obviously it will take some time real time so it will create a delay for us okay now what we need to do we need to create on target and all this or before going to this we need to run this program Hit target zero errors okay now we need to right click on this target one we need to write options for target one and click on this on chip rom option in here 11.0592 uh, crystal frequency also go to the output and click on create hex okay now i will again okay build targets okay now our hex file is created and where it is okay we need to go to our c drive c then users then this okay then desktop and here because our project is delta zero zero so it is where it is we will see or uh, wait we also need to go to objects because uh, yeah here it is our file that is delta zero zero hex okay so okay now now we will run it we will just go to proteus okay we will take our 89c51 so this is our microcontroller okay now run it like that okay make it big and you are not supposed to do anything with it you are not uh, supposed to provide any sort of crystal frequency it will work on its own 12 megahertz it's okay you just need to give the path for the hex file so it's c it's a user this and we will go to desktop and here objects so delta zero zero hex okay now we will see that either uh, the port number two is toggling or not means that it is becoming zero and one or not and here you can see that it is just showing us the state of uh, leds or you can even attach some leds here like leds or led green so this is animated and all this so so you can attach some melodies like this and okay so we need to rotate it at 90 degree so like this and this one this one 
like this one okay Now we will arrange our LEDs. Okay, now we will see that. okay uh, it's very fast so we cannot see a proper blinking so can we do one more thing we can add one some more zeros here so we will go to project build target okay now we will do it now you can see that you can see a proper delay so hopefully you got the concept so thanks for watching don't forget to like and Subscribe.